I played a tournament over the weekend and my last round, I have three points out of four. I need to win to make it to the top three places. And of course, I told myself tonight, <laughs> you're going to be Mr. Tao. So I get into this aggressive mode and in this position, I play the move pawn to f5. Of course, I've played this position many times. If you have been following this channel, you know that I've played it and typically I want to play something like b3 in order to bring the knight over to c4 and eventually to e5 or even bishop to d2. But I figured, you know what, I gotta play aggressively. And after this move, you're going to see the main components you need in order to win your games. Of course, unless you're playing at the top level, this is going to work out for you. Number one, easy opening, easy system that you don't have to memorize that much. Just get to a position that you know the plans. Like in this case, it was very easy for me to get the queen to h4, my knight, my pieces concentrated on the king side. And now it's just a matter of attacking. Now, before we make any comments, I know it sounds a little bit arrogant, but you see what I mean. After f5, my plan is simply to open up the king, play bishop to h6, and start to attack the king, right? So after pawn takes, I play bishop h6, my opponent takes, queen takes h6, and of course, we have to calculate what if they don't take? What if they go f takes g4? Like for example here, I was already, in my calculations, I was looking into queen g5, and this gets really nice for the white pieces. At least that was the case in my head, right? Well, my opponent takes, I take back, now f takes g4, and knight g5. So I had calculated this far, and I know that now I'm threatening to play rook takes f6, followed by queen h7, checkmate, and the game is over, right? My opponent plays bishop d5, I have to tell you, I was expecting something like bishop f5, and I knew my opponent was going to be able to defend, but he had to find the right moves. For all I know, I have, I'm the one putting pressure, and this is the other component that I wanted to, to tell you about. I always tell you, it is much more difficult to find defensive moves than it is to find aggressive attacking moves. And I always tell you what I learned from, from Gulko. He always says, when you are attacking, the best move is typically a good looking move. When you're defending, the best move is typically a very ugly move, right? So after knight g5, my opponent actually plays bishop d5, and now rook takes f6. I'm going in anyways, I'm already committed, and after pawn takes rook, well, I knew queen h7, queen h8 doesn't work, the king simply runs away. But I liked knight takes h7. For all I know, I'm ready to deliver checkmate on f6. And if they want to stop it, they need to give me at least the rook on f6. So rook e6. And now, instead of taking right away, I think, imagine if I had more pieces on the king's side. This knight is completely out of the game. So is my rook. And my bishop doesn't have it easy to... Uh, change direction and help me out, right? But I'm thinking if this rook were floating in the air and I could put it on h5, then I could play now knight f6 followed by checkmate. So I said, you know what? Instead of hurrying up to capture on f6, let me bring the rook over. My opponent takes the bishop. And of course, I always knew that I had this move knight f6 and I don't think I'm winning, but I'm not losing either. But I decided to play a little bit more aggressively and play rook f5, rook h5. So rook f5 was played. My opponent plays knight e7. I almost didn't play knight f5 because first I saw knight e5 to get to g6, right? But I'm thinking, well, worst case scenario, I still have this move. I could take the bishop, not a big deal. But when I saw that my opponent had knight e7, it was a little bit more concerning because now I don't have to time I don't have the time to pick up on g6 since my rook is being attacked. But after rook h5, knight to g6, that was a move that I foresaw that I want to see if you can find it. And this move is what made me go into this plan. Rook f1, rook f5, rook h5. Now if you pause the video, you tried to find it and you found the move knight f8. I almost tell you congrats, and this is actually what I played in the game. My opponent by now, this is move number 22, 
and my opponent had 12 seconds. This is a 90 minute game. So, 90, I mean, yeah, 90 minutes per player plus 30 second increment. My opponent was down to 12 minutes and he was just there trying to find a good move. He froze and he ran out of time. I have been there myself and I know the feeling. And, um, you know, when we finished, he said, oh, I defended very badly. I, 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 and he just, he just gave up right here, right? Well, everyone looking at the game thought this was a great move. The white pieces are winning. Beautiful game. I thought that myself. <laughs> but uh, turns out that if you look at the evaluation, the engine says it is 0, 0.0 at this point. And I couldn't believe it because for me, I mean, if you take with the knight, this is mate. If you take with the rook, this is mate. If they do, I don't know, queen e7, I chop off the knight, threaten and checkmate. If they take me, well, this is mate no matter what. Probably my opponent calculated the same things. But the engine says, well, what about rook e2, defending the bishop, give the queen up, that's okay. But now we got to continue playing chess. Eval is 0 0.04, so slightly better for black. And even though they have rook and minor piece for the queen, there is a lot of chess to be played in this. And it's definitely way better than just giving up, right? But again, this is computers versus humans. It's not the same thing. And that's why I always tell my students, especially if you are under 2000, this is a very effective way to play B aggressive be energetic maybe you're playing magnus carlsen and he's gonna find the right defensive moves he's going to defend well but at the level that i'm playing and below it's not that easy i've been here myself defending and then when i get home that i review the game i'm like how couldn't i find this during the game well it's not easy on over the board with the clock ticking your tire like this was the fifth round we played one game on friday night two games on saturday this is the second game of sunday it's too much and we miss these little things. Well, not little things. We miss these things. Again, I feel qualified to tell you this because I have been on both sides. And anyways, I hope you found some value in this short video.